Hey, Wellcasters! Fair warning, the following message is intended for pubescent boys. If you saw our first video on puberty, you learned that somewhere between the ages of 9 and 15, weird things start happening to your body and mind. Or you may have noticed this is actually just happening to you. Today, we're going to talk exclusively to the boys on what's happening in your body and how to deal with it. As a side note, ladies, we're working on one of these for you, too. I'm sure you're super excited. Tip 1. Here's a little secret about zits. You can't scare them into disappearing. Hormones, genetics, dead skin cells, and bacteria are having a party in your pores, and your whole face is invited. Think of squeezing zits like a nosy neighbor threatening to call the cops on a party. It might quiet the storm for a little bit, but as soon as the neighbor leaves, you can be sure the party will flare up again, maybe even louder. Hello, red irritated spots. You're best off washing your face regularly, especially after excessive sweating. But hey, don't wash your face too much, because that could irritate your skin too. Use only water-based hair products that won't drip down your face and clog your pores. Eat consciously so your skin gets the alphabet of vitamins it needs to glow. Pause and print this whole list of amazing foods that'll help you fight acne from the inside. If your skin is especially angry, don't hesitate to consult a dermatologist. It's okay. We all need a little help sometimes. And, you know, dermatologists are like psychiatrists for skin. Tip two. Hey! Can you hear me all the way up there? You're a little taller than the last time we spoke. One of the trickiest parts about puberty is that everyone develops at different rates. The once tallest guy in class suddenly finds himself looking up to girls. And the former class shrimp finds himself oof, hitting his head on doorways. Hello. Here's the thing. The growth spurt part of puberty is kind of a free fall. You can't control your height or how fast you gain it, trust me. But what you can control is your posture. That's right, your posture. A solid stance goes a long way to looking cool and composed, even if you're kind of short. It sounds old-fashioned, but seriously, stand up straight, maintain eye contact, and speak clearly. You'll seem way more in control of your body than you actually feel. Tip three, sperm, testosterone, oh my! These are the hormones of our lives. And they are exactly what your body starts to produce when puberty kicks off. But as you probably have figured out, the changes aren't just happening inside. You can expect to gain some muscles all over as well as length and girth too. Hooray. You might also be struck with an erection when you least expect it, even in your sleep. And that's okay. These will lessen with time. And listen to me. This is happening to every single boy you know. Tip four. Apply deodorant early and often. We here at Wellcast prefer antiperspirants, which not only mask body odor, but help calm sweat glands to prevent your body from sweating as much in the first place. Look, in puberty, your sweat glands are working in overdrive especially if you play after school sports or lift weights or whatever. So, please carry an extra deodorant in your bag or keep one in your locker if and when you need to reapply. Tip five, hair, hair everywhere, or not. Facial hair has a mind of its own. Whether the root <laughs> of your problems is either uncontrollable hair or not enough, you must accept that hair will come and go as it pleases. It's true. Just ask a bald guy who might also have a hairy back. So, that's it. Well, for me, not for you. You're still in puberty. We hope you can breathe a little bit more easily knowing that you're not alone. And if you really want this inside scoop into what happens to girls during their teen years, well, stay tuned. We've got one on the way, just for the ladies. Don't worry. We won't tell them that you peaked. And if you need other puberty information resources, check out these sites.